My name is Mike Finardi. I'm an educator with Iowa Corn, and this is Iowa Corn Trailer. And I am excited to take everyone, if you get a chance, look for me all over the state of Iowa, and we want you to stop by this trailer and learn about Iowa Corn. Come on in the trailer, and we'll see what you guys can learn. Okay, whose favorite corn was there? Who like, what kind was it? So look over here. The first thing we want to talk about, right when you walk in the door, is the type of corns that we grow here in Iowa. In this form, we don't eat field corn, we eat sweet corn. But when we break the pieces of this corn into little parts, we actually eat it every day in items that we use, like a donut. So there's little bits, there's little bits of that corn, the sugar that's in the donut, pepperoni, how about cheese? How about ice cream? Well, guess what? I want you to look up. Oh, cool. See all those items on the ceiling? Oh, look, ice cream, cereal, don't, oh wait, paint, oh, how could there be corn and paint? The point being here is, is that all these items have parts of this corn in them, because guess what? We grow this every year in Iowa, and we're really good at growing corn in Iowa. Guess what? We're number one. The state of Iowa grows more corn than all the rest of the states in the U.S. People don't realize this corn that we grow right out here in the cornfields is utilized in all kinds of different sources and types of products that they use every day. It's not just food, it's fuel, it's feed. There's all kinds of individual products or pieces of this corn that are used that people had no idea. Iowa corn actually can be a solution to a lot of the problems that we have by making things more sustainable and safer for the environment. And that's a big one most people want to know about. Question, are GMOs safe? They are safe because one, before anything can go into production, GMOs have been tested for over 10 years and we've already had them on the market for over 10 years. So we've already got easily over 20 years experience in those GMOs. Genetic modification is a term that's been used to define a technology that involves manipulating DNA of a plant or an animal. We can grow more corn here using GMOs and we can also use less pesticides and fertilizers. Overall, it's better for the farm and the land. Professional organizations of scientists have looked at the same data and also concluded that there's no reason to be concerned. And that would include the American Academy of Pediatrics, the National Academy of Medicine, and the World Health Organization. We have questions obviously on GMOs and conservation. And when I can actually show them inside the trailer and actually talk about my farm personally on what I'm doing with cover crops and how GMOs are actually better for the environment, not using insecticide because we don't need to use insecticide because of a GMO. Those are real highlights that most people don't have any idea. And that is a big deal with Iowa corn. And this trailer is trying to make information more available. 